Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play. Today I'm starting off with 33 levels, did a little tiny bit of grinding off camera and we're ready to move on to enchanting the rest of our stuff and I also have some iron ore to smelt up so let's get to work using this. Oh my gosh, look at that, it works exactly as intended. <laughs> a few of you also wanted me to put a smithing table in here, uh, that's a pretty easy change. I just, I hadn't done it because well, I'm not, I don't really have netherite yet, but when we get some, that'll be ready for us. Now, let's get back to the issue at hand, enchanting. So, what do we have? What do we have? Okay, some of you said that if I want feather falling, it's better to try at level 26. So let's cancel out a few of those by using torches. That's level 28. This should be level 26. Oh, I, it's a corner one. It cancels out too. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. We have feather falling one, but that's not really what I want. Yeah, nah, not this time. No feather falling on this enchant. Okay, smite. Ah, I don't want smite, to be honest. Ooh, there's silk touch for a shovel. So maybe I should make an axe and a shovel out of diamond so that I can potentially have those. Um, it'd be good to get Podzil if I had a shovel, and it'd be good to get Mushroom if I had an axe. I I'm not really sure which one I'd prefer. I already have a pickaxe that's still touch. It's right here. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I can get it on an axe. Oh, that's so tempting! Do I do it? I feel like some of you are going to be a little mad if I don't do the shovel, but it's not a rare enchant. So I could wait, but I've got to reroll it anyways. So here we go. Just silk touch. Really? Just silk touch? All right. Well, <laughs> that's fine. I'll add something else to it. Guys, I might go with sharpness. I might do it. Sharpness four. Oh, just sharpness four. Ah, well, it's better than the iron sword that we've been using. I'll take it. All right, enchanting aside, I think it is time to go on another adventure. I've been just itching to sort of get out and see what else is in my world, because to be honest, <laughs> you're slamming the door in my face. To be honest, I haven't seen a lot of the world. I've explored the ocean a little bit this way, a little bit in the jungle, haven't really seen much of the mega taiga that's over there, and we know that the two villages are over in this direction. But we haven't gone that far. So, Scooter, what do you say we go on a little adventure? You want to come? If I'm being entirely honest with you guys, the main thing that I want to get on this journey is actually just beetroot. <laughs> I just want some. I like having all of the things to farm. I think it's fun. What on earth is this terrain generation? Oh my gosh. Scooter, are you seeing this? Scooter? Scooter? Oh, what you doing? Hey, more horsies. We could get a friend for Doro out here. That would be so cool. Hey, you hate me. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Maybe an, maybe another time, eh? Whoa! Hey, look at this! There's another one! There's so many of these! Scooter, don't step on the magma. Oh, gold block! This one's really cool. Like, it literally is a full portal, but this half just fell down. There's no crying obsidian or anything in it. Don't step on the magma. I know how you are. Oh, iron nuggets! Heck yeah! Time to camp in the forest. We should set up a campground somewhere out here. That'd actually be really cool. Maybe we could like connect it to the nether as well to easily come out here and camp. That'd be fun. If we find anything cool out here, we should definitely do that. I think we've done it, Scooter. I think we have found the other side of the Mega Taga. <laughs> that was actually a really long walk. I'm surprised. <gasps> hey, look! There's another portal. These seem to be fairly common, to be honest. I really, I didn't expect them to be this common. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, this one's a little bit smaller, but it has two pieces of gold. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we're rich. And more gold. Okay, mending on both of those. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. Scooter, you know the drill. Don't step on magma. All right, found a swamp. Maybe we'll find a witch hut. Oh, no witch hut, but there's a another portal. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's more portals than anything else in this world. Do you guys remember when boats used to break if you'd hit a lily pad so you you like couldn't take them in a swamp because you just have an uh, inventory of sticks? I, I'm so glad it's not like that anymore. <laughs> Actually, it might be nice to pick up a few lily pads for decoration. All right, so now I'm in boat and I can't help but feel like this is where we get lost. Like, I was okay when we're on land, but now I, I truly have no idea where I am. So, uh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, hey, look, another portal. I, 
I can almost see the last one. It's just over there. <laughs> I didn't realize they were so common. Another chest. Okay. Feather falling on gold. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. My inventory is just filling up with gold things. <laughs> hey, there's some bees. You know what? I actually, I don't have any bees. Oh, you guys are so cute. Look at the hive. I actually have silk touch. I could take a hive with me, but I need to wait until nighttime when the bees go inside. Hey bees, can you go inside your hive so I can take you with me? I know this is very selfish, but uh, please. Look, that one's going. Me too, though. <laughs> You're so covered in pollen. Look at you. Okay, now I can hear the buzzing from inside. So there's one inside. I just, I need that one to go in. Okay, this bee appears to be super lost. So maybe we take the hive as it is. Oh, there's a flower forest over there. We could stock up on supplies. I'm gonna just see if I can lure this one home with a flower. Hey, come. Come, come. Come over here. Look, your hive's over here. Come on. See that? Do you want to go in there? It's such a nice little hive. I don't, I don't want you. Oh, it went inside. It went inside. Okay. So now, silk touch. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back in. Go back in. Go. Oh, I waited too long. Right. You get some pollen and you go straight back inside, okay? Yeah, that's right. You spin. Yeah, you spin. Are, are you okay? I went back inside. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Whew. I think this hive has two bees in it. I'm quite proud of myself for that, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go to the flower forest. That looks like an appropriate thing to do after finding bees. I'm gonna take some of these pink tulips. I think they're one of my favorites. And I definitely wanna write the coordinates down of this spot so that I can always come back and get more flowers and maybe create a flower farm. I don't know how to create a flower farm, but that seems like something that I would like to do. And plus, this is a, oh! I was about to say this is a really pretty area, but uh, somebody lives here. Somebody lives here, Scooter. Let's go. Let's go say hi. There's a village in my flower forest. Oh, this is just the sweetest thing, Scooter. It's the best. Make it down safely, please, doggo. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is the coolest village. Hey. Okay. Okay. I love how nosy we are when we enter a village. We just come in and we're like, <laughs> let's open every single door. See if you guys have anything that I want. And if I want it, I'm just going to take it from you. It's really kind of me, isn't it? Hey, you're a librarian. Hello. Huh? Bookshelves. Paper. Cool. It's just so pretty. Oh, I have to take a screenshot of it. Look at them. Are this beet? I really need beet. I don't think any of this is beet. No, it's carrot. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I have a plan. I have a plan, guys. I think we make a portal here because this is really far out. This is like 2,000 blocks from, uh, <laughs> from my house. So I think we make a portal and we can nether travel back and forth to here. And that'll give us a reason to go in the nether like way more often anyways. And lucky for me, I know right where to find some obsidian. Because <laughs> we found about a million ruined portals. So come on, Scooter. All right, we got 11 obsidian from this ruined portal. So that's pretty much all I need. I'm gonna store some stuff in this chest. Uh, just stuff that I, I don't really need this instant. Okay, I've been successful. I have flint. Uh, this is actually really good. These are gravelly mountains. So if I ever wanna build something out of concrete, this is gonna be awesome because we're gonna have a direct tunnel to this area where we can come and farm gravel and also enjoy the flower forest. All right, time to light that up. This might seem dumb, but I'm, I'm also gonna store a couple of things just, just right here. Uh, actually, I don't have much to store, but yeah. I'm gonna go through, generate the portal, and you're gonna stay there, and then I'm gonna come back out. Actually, I'm also gonna put a fence around it because I know how villagers are and they don't have very many brain cells. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way possible. They will absolutely come in here and get stuck in the nether. Oh! There has never been a worse place to spawn. Am I gonna die? Huh! Okay, okay, there's gravel below this gravel. 
Oh my god, what a nightmare location. Just the absolute worst. Okay, um. Right, we go home. That was horrible. Scooter, come on. We leave. Oh, I take the bed. Hey, there's another village over here. Uh, this is a different one. We came from that way originally. I'm just taking a slightly more direct way home because we uh, wandered around a lot. This one looks like it even has a like a little church with it. This is so cute. Hi, are you growing any beetroot? Oh, you are. Wait, that's mine. That is mine. That is mine. That's mine. That's all I need. Hey, there's an empty map in here. I'm gonna take that and we can map our area at home. That's cool. I gotta remember not to click it. Anyways, that's enough distraction. Continuing home. There's the Mega Taiga. Oh, it's a massive Mega Taiga. I'm so far out still. <laughs> but that's the exact same Mega Taiga that is at my house. I survived the journey. We're back. Scooter and I are back safe. Very pleased about that. I think we did great things. We did fantastic things. And look at what we have brought back. Surprisingly, these were the three main things that I did want to bring back out of everything we got. Right, map. This is kind of a lame map, but you know what? If we put some stuff in the water, it'll, it'll uh, improve. Oh boy, okay. Let's put the map in my house. Mm, right here? Sure, I mean, why not? For now, we'll, we'll get four eventually and make a nice one of the land, but you know what? That's all I have for right now. Then we have the issue of the bees, which I love these bees, and I think this custom tree would be the perfect spot. So the bees from this location should be able to go out, get some flowers, come back, and maybe pollinate on their way back. I'm not super worried about if they pollinate or not, to be honest. Um, it's fine either way. I'll just, I'll just place some flowers. Okay, you know what? They're a little shy. It's been a long journey. That's okay. We're moving on. It is time for me to actually head back into the nether. I think I'm gonna wear the boots <laughs> just because I, I have a diamond helmet. So let's, let's keep my diamond maybe. And that's my piece of gold. You know what? I'll bring eight pieces of gold just in case, but we are going in. Oh, it's nighttime. We're going in with the purpose of actually building. Oh, <gasps> it's a bee. It's a bee. Oh, I'm so glad you've decided to come out. Oh my gosh, it's lovely, isn't it? You like that rose? Oh, it's so cute. All right, perfect. Glad to know the bees are happy. I don't know if it's a good idea that I'm bringing all of my diamond tools with me, but I, mm, I'm gonna do it anyway. So there's that. Hey, our wandering trader friend is still here. These chunks must be unloaded or something so they can't despawn while I'm working. What the heck, dude? Also, this is a crime. Like, you're out here robbing people. Um, no thank you. Back in the nether. And also an update, I, I still haven't fixed the tunnel. I'm aware I need to. It just, I just haven't yet. <laughs> I'll get to it. It's one of those things, you know, widening a tunnel in the nether is just, it's not that fun. So I'm, I'm putting it off. I'm procrastinating, okay? Leave me alone. First thing I gotta do is gather some blackstone. Okay, or not, you know, that works too. <gasps> Excuse me, hello? I brought arrows and no bow. I'm, I'm not getting smarter as this let's play goes on. Like you would think, you would think with enough practice, you'd be like, oh, I'm getting so good at this game. No, not, no, oh, uh, you, you can't reach me. You didn't give me anything good, but I just have a funny feeling that this is how I'm gonna die. If I had to guess on a way that I was gonna die, this seems, this seems like it's gonna be it. I'm gonna continue with what I'm doing anyways, but just a thought. Are you gonna fall? Oh God, I don't trust gravel. I, I do not trust it. My plan is to get up close to this lava and make myself a little stables for Waddles and Waddles' friends. Maybe Wiggles and Wobble. I think those are good strider names, right? Um, do not trust. Do not trust. Why do they spawn the gravel next to the edge of lava? Like, that's just evil. Like, they did that on purpose. This was a game design. This is purposeful gravel placement. It wants to kill you. The game wants you dead. They don't want you to survive this. Sorry, I'm just ranting at this point. You know what? Would have been really smart for me to bring my fire resistance. If I had my fire resistance on me, I could just build while standing in the lava. <sighs> right, bear be then. Okay, I'm back, I'm smarter now. I have what I need. Potions, I only brought three. Uh, I don't know how long this will take me, but. 
I know I have it on, but it's always a little terrifying to just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna jump in now. Like, there's something unsettling about the fact that I can just do this, but yeah, anyways. I, I have to try to place blocks down here. Problem is, there's no visibility under lava. Ugh. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the roof out of blackstone as well. This is going to be a very blackstone heavy build, but I just like the look of it and I haven't played with it a lot yet. Mind me, just chilling under lava, just, you know, doing my thing. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Not great, but not bad, right? I can, I can work with this, I feel. The floor is gonna be this crimson and it's just gonna kind of wrap around like so on these edges. And then in this middle part, I'll have it come over, kind of like a nice docking area. Now, once I have the shape, all I'm gonna do is start filling it in with this crimson. I love this purple color. I think we can even come back in with some nether brick eventually and kind of work on that. Since this is so close to that fortress, maybe we can transform little areas and kind of make them our own. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. These are of course future projects because building in the nether is challenging and we're not quite there yet, but we are getting better and better with every episode and I'm sure we'll soon be suited up to fight the dragon and take on even more. Now, unfortunately for me, I am out of building blocks. Well, crimson anyways, but we are building near a crimson forest. So I'm just gonna hop on Waddles here and uh, head out. All right, Waddles, thank you for the ride. Always appreciate you. Hey. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I didn't bring my bow. Am I gonna sword a gas? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Almost. I could do it, I could do it. So close. I'm gonna hit a pigman and I'm gonna, it's gonna be horrible. <gasps> I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh, return to sender. Heck yeah. I mean, barely even had to try, right? That was, I had that handled, easy. Gassed here, perfect. Okay, <laughs> back to collecting. Hey, are you cold? Go ahead, get back in the lava, you weirdo. What are you doing? Hey, that's looking pretty cool so far, right? I mean, it's not gonna be the fanciest, but It'll do for right now. I'm sure we'll have several of these all around the nether. Okay, first roof is filled in. I'm gonna do another little one on top of it, kind of just like what we did with the blacksmith, just to add another layer of interest. This layer won't serve much functional purpose. I'll maybe put a little bit of lighting in it or something, but it's mostly just decorative. I think that's okay. That looks way better already. <laughs> I love that. I don't have a ton of these crimson stem quite yet, but I think I would like to decorate with these just on the edge. Just that little hint of red in there like that might look really good. The warped one might look okay too, actually. We might have to experiment with that, but for now, that looks good. For the edges over here, I really like the look of this trap door with the crimson. I think it makes a great little wall over here that we can still see through and access, but kind of just keeps everybody in their place. Obviously, I have a lot of details not squared away, but I, I think this is pretty functional right now. I mean, in terms of what it needs to do in terms of keeping a strider in here, I just need to sort of fix up this area back here and get it properly shaped up for an entrance. <gasps> okay, I was, I was collecting blackstone. Um, it appears I've made friends. Hi, hey, can we not? Like, are you gonna jump to me? Oh, you are. Also, I would like to note something that I've forgotten. That's a blaze spawner. That's, I have it all blocked off because it's, it's, it's a spawner. We have a spawner right next to our dock. So technically we could like build this whole area up into something kind of surrounding the striders and maybe a blaze farm up here. Let me know, do people still build blaze farms? Is that a thing? Maybe that's a bit of a silly question, but I just feel like I haven't seen anyone building blaze farms recently. Like, is it worth my time? 
really <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys decide that one. Okay, I don't know what the exact like entrance I'm kind of wanting here, but for right now, something like this seems appropriate. We can just open up the gates and hop in on our Strider who is safe and sound in there. There's a few more things I'd like to do with crimson stems as highlights around, but this is the general idea. So what do you say we get our Strider friend in place? Hey Strider friend. I didn't quite think this through. There's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of gobble here. Hang on. Right, come on. I built you a whole place, Waddles. I did, I built you a whole thing. Right, so we come in here. I hop off, perfect, right onto the magma. There we are. You are now trapped, which is exactly what I want. You're choosing to be in the cold spot, but that's okay. Well, technically you're on magma. Don't go right there. <laughs> Maybe I'll replace that with magma for you as well. There you go. So you're free to exist in here. Can you get under this? That's like my only worry. I'm gonna watch for a little while just to make sure that no bad choices are made here while I detail, but it, I mean, it, oh, for, oh. It, we were doing so well. Come on, come, come, I'll fix it. Okay, so what you're telling me is I have to make the baby gate higher, much higher. Ha, you can't get out anymore. You cannot get out. Whoops, ouchie. <laughs> you can't get out, can you? Yeah, you can still get out on the side. Don't even try it. I'm working on it. Hang on. You know, it might look better if I just do slabs across the top of it. I, I'm not sure. Hey, I need you. Yeah, you, we'll, we'll, I'll take you on an adventure. Don't even worry. You guys also told me that these hoglins would be as scared of my fishing rod. Which, okay, d not, not true. Not, that's not, that's false. Oi, don't leave me. What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? You think you're just gonna walk away from me? Oh God. Uh, what has happened here? Huh. To let me out. Okay, I panic drank fire resistance because I didn't know what was about to happen. <laughs> but don't you ever do that to me again. I'm building you a home and that was really rude. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, the panic. My heart. <laughs> this game is intense sometimes. Alright, Waddles. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but you're trapped and you really need to stay here. I'm just decorating you a beautiful home. Why can't you love me? Okay, to be honest, I feel quite accomplished here. This this looks good. I mean, no complaints. Striders cannot get out. I can keep multiple striders in here, probably maybe two or three. It looks cute. It works with the area. We can definitely build more and more areas around here to kind of fit it in and add paths, but this is great. All I have to do is clean up the cobble and we'll be good to go. Well, this is a bit of a stark contrast from the nether. It's raining. I think this is only the second time I've ever had rain in this, and the first time I it started right as I was going to sleep, so it didn't last, but this is really pretty. I actually really like the rain in Minecraft. Wait, hold on. I know some of you guys are gonna wanna see it. Mood change. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> A lot of you guys still ask why I, I don't play with shaders all the time and it's simply I, I like the look of the normal game but revealing what things look like from time to time with all of these extra atmospheric bits I think is still important and I would still like to do it. Hey you're getting all wet. Oh dear. You need a house. Hang on. Scooter I'll be honest I'm not exactly sure where to put your house but I, I think this looks like a good spot. All right, it's morning and the rain has stopped, but I am I am seriously gonna build my dog a house. And I think this spot over here is perfect. I'm just gonna tuck it in a little bit more. Hello, bee. <laughs> oh, we have so many lovely animals around us now. I, I almost feel like a Disney princess. It's fantastic. All right, Scooter, do you want to see your new home? Come, come, I've, I've given you something. So look at this, all right? Beautiful little nook. Scooter can just come in here and uh, wait for our next adventure. Scooter, I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot you right inside. There we go. Oh, it's so cute. I think that makes a lovely addition. Yeah, it's perfect. Just a little dog house off to the side of my house. We'll put a little tag on the inside. Scooter's happy home. Perfect. 
And just like that, our episode has come to an end. Always sad, but it was lovely to hang out with all of you today. I had so much fun, all of the exploring, the getting the lovely bees that we have in the background. <laughs> And of course, we also got to do some building in the nether, which we haven't done a lot of yet, and I'm very excited to explore that avenue of building even more. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, and leave a like on the video to show me some support on this series. I'm really appreciating all of you who are leaving comments. It's so fun to read and hear what you are all thinking. It's lovely to hear from you, and as always, thank you for the amazing fan art you've been sending in. It's so cool to see you all getting so inspired by the things that we're building up in this world. I can't wait to share even more with you. I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone!